Hola! It's April 30th and it's about 7.15 p.m. Abby. And I just went down to the beach for about an hour to just kind of sit there, clear my head, have a moment, and I felt like I needed to explain, because I haven't, how I have insurance. And I know this isn't a profound conversation, but it may help someone who is either in the situation I'm in or going to be in the situation that I have been in. So back in 2008, I believe that's when I started the process, maybe even earlier, because at the time you couldn't have insurance through your family, right? Unless you were in college and then I believe the age was 23. What is it? What's wrong? It's Abby. What are you whining about? What's the situation? <laughs> what? Tell me about it. I'm trying to tell them. <laughs> Anyways. So I had to, I couldn't have it through my father and I wasn't in school anymore. And having CF for me, I could not have a full-time job that have that has benefits because you don't know when you're gonna be sick and most of the time you're sick for a very long time. I think she might be hungry, but she has food. She just doesn't want the food that I'm giving her. So <clears throat> I started the process of being declared disabled through the federal government, which was a long process. It was long, it was extensive, it was hard. You had to see special doctors, fill out all these forms. But I was finally approved because of my CF, right? I mean, it's a pre-existing, I can't do anything about it. And at the time it was kind of scary because I was going from private insurance to government insurance and not everybody was taking Medicare at the time, but it allowed me to have Healthcare. <clears throat> the only thing is you can only make so much money. She's tired. We just went for a walk. You can only make so much money, right? Because you're saying that you basically can't work or you can't work a lot, which is really the truth. So <clears throat> I started that in 2008 and have had it since then. So I say that to say my country, your tax dollars, are benefiting people in a positive way. I think that it gets a bad rap and people think that it's just a bunch of worthless, lazy people trying to get something for free and that's not the case. The way that the healthcare system is set up, it's not set up for people like me. And the medicines are expensive. <laughs> For people like me and if you can't have a job with benefits and you're not married to someone with benefits you have no way of getting what you need you can I mean when I my hospital bill is gonna be over a hundred thousand dollars for three weeks and Medicare pays through the disability 80% and that is through the federal government and then Medicaid through Florida because I haven't worked since January because I've been sick right? I get approved for them to pick up the other 20%, hopefully. I did get approved. I just don't know how it's all going to work yet because I haven't received it, but I know it's all in the process. So know that there is a way. It's just a long process. And if you have CF or if you have a pre-existing and now you're in this situation where you're about to come out of college or you can't work your full-time job anymore. Yeah, you can't make tons of money, but you don't need a lot of money to survive. You do need healthcare <laughs> though. So for us, to me, that was the most important and always has been. So shout out to <clears throat> all of you who pay your taxes and allow, I hope it goes to this situation and to our country. I know it, we're not all on the same page and there's a lot of things that I don't know about and don't care to know about, to be honest. But the things that I do know, I appreciate. And I'm very grateful for that. And I don't know that it would be like that in any other country. So here's a shout out to the US of A, taking care of their people one person at a time. 
So that's all I got for today.